the negatives of the negative results and outcomes of the storm that I've seen primarily re revolve around uh, race in New Orleans. I think Katrina probably could have given us an opportunity to deal with some of the racial issues that uh, New Orleans has faced for generations. I think it probably should have given us an opportunity to get um, more, uh, from a racial standpoint, more ethnic um, communities to kind of live and in, in mix with one another more. I think we still have a, a de facto segregated city. You still have the uptown crowd and the New Orleans East crowd. And I think Hurricane Katrina, we should have seized the opportunity to talk about how we can become a truly integrated city here in New Orleans, culturally, ethnically, um, even, even age-wise. We still have you know, a lot of age issues in New Orleans as well. Um, and I think race is still the one thing that in order for us to really realize our potential, we're going to have to deal with the racial issues that really nobody wants to talk about that at some point we're going to have to talk about. Um, I think another negative uh, result of Katrina is uh, I think housing is uh, one of those issues that not a lot of people talk about in terms of affordable housing. Uh, we had a lot of issues with New Orleans housing in terms of public uh, housing uh, projects, uh, concentrated areas of poverty. Uh, and I think we may have missed an opportunity to address those issues. I think all we did was just move the, the people instead of addressing the root problems of economic, economic development and poverty in public schools. So I think we did miss an opportunity there, but we have time to fix it. And I think that's what everybody should really be focusing on is uh, housing and race relations in New Orleans are the two biggest things. And I think an education is the biggest thing, but uh, I think if we can address the housing issue, the public education issue, then I think you'll see economic, economic development get better and everything else will flow from that. Public education is the number one thing that we have to fix in this city. And I'm not just saying that because I work in that space. I'm saying that because I've lived in this city my entire life. Uh, I'm a graduate of public school. I remember in the 1980s where you only had maybe five decent public high schools. If you really wanted a chance to do anything positive in life, your, your, your chances of doing something positive and being productive increased dramatically by going to one of these five high schools, but they're selective admission high schools. You had to take a test to get in. Um, for the most part, you probably had 125,000 school aged kids that were limited to between elementary, junior high and high school, limited to maybe 15 decent schools. So, can, you know, without access, imagine what happens to those other kids and the opportunities that they have. Um, but I think that we are on the right path in terms of public education. I think we, Opportunity. Katrina provided an opportunity for everybody to stop and pause and reevaluate what what's the type of public education system we want in New Orleans to truly provide access to quality schools to those least disadvantaged people and to those most at risk kids. And that's what we're working towards now, providing quality, quality seats in every part of New Orleans so that you don't have to go way uptown from New Orleans East to that one high school. That's good. You know, and I think that's. That's, that should be everybody's focus, in my opinion. Fix public education and you'll see everything else uh, uh, you know, get better from there. And there's still a big gap, specifically in New Orleans East. I wish there was opportunities from, for some of the older, um, more senior retired principals and teachers from public education, many of whom still live in New Orleans East, uh, and probably Algiers as well, to uh, have an opportunity to mentor some of these younger teachers um, uh, younger professionals that are in the classroom, many of them are white from out of town. I think that there's some opportunities um, for, the, for, the, for the retired teachers and principals who lived here their entire lives to give that historical and cultural perspective that's really needed in the classroom um, to some of the younger white teachers that have come to New Orleans post-Katrina, many of whom are trying to do the best they can, but they, they, they need to understand the cultural and historical perspective. And I think age is... is uh, Age and race is a barrier, a barrier to that. So I think that the national spotlight is good. And I think, again, it allows, I think the most important thing for us to do in New Orleans is to not think very myopically, open our minds up and embrace ideas from people outside of the city. But people from outside of the city who come also have to understand, again, that historical and cultural perspective of New Orleans. So I do think that the storm has given us an opportunity to get new ideas from other people to make this city better.